Tesla's game-changing Giga Press has just unlocked a new era in electric vehicle manufacturing. Five EVs in seven seconds. This revolutionary machine is setting a pace that no one in the automotive industry thought was possible. If you've ever questioned whether Tesla can push the limits of manufacturing efficiency, this is the answer. Uh, very direct, fast acceleration and tight cornering, like high performance car, you know, cars. But is this really fast enough to set the standard for the whole industry? What hidden systems inside this new press allow it to outperform entire factories that have been around for decades? And what happens to legacy automakers still betting on conventional manufacturing? This video dives deeply into why the all-new Giga Press isn't just fast, but potentially world-changing. So don't skip away to discover the whole truth behind this revolution. And don't forget to hit subscribe to join the 19,577 strong community now and stay ahead of the curve. 1. How fast is Tesla's new GigaPress productivity that the industry witnessed first time in history? Let's cut through the noise and talk numbers that actually matter. Five cars rolling off the line every seven seconds. Not minutes. It's seconds. Traditional automotive assembly lines crawl through production at 40 to 60 seconds per vehicle, and that's with billions invested in automation. Tesla just obliterated that benchmark by a factor of nearly 10. With Tesla's new Giga Press speed, one single unit could hit the same volume in just a few hours, and could theoretically scale toward 2.5 million vehicles per year. On the other side, Ford and General Motors push roughly 1,000 vehicles daily from entire manufacturing plants. Tesla's press matches that figure before lunch. For an industry that spent decades optimizing seconds, Tesla just removed entire minutes. The technology driving this isn't incremental improvement. It's architectural demolition of century-old methods. High-pressure die casting transforms molten aluminum into complete chassis sections in one violent, precise shot. Traditional manufacturing stitches together dozens of stamped panels through welding, bolting, and fastening. Every joint creates failure points. Every weld introduces variance. Every bolt demands inspection. Tesla's approach vaporizes those steps entirely. The chassis emerges as a unified structure, eliminating hundreds of parts and the assembly hours they demand. No welding stations. No structural reinforcement phases. No quality control bottlenecks where human error compounds across multiple touchpoints. This speed unlocks something legacy automakers can't replicate without burning their existing infrastructure to the ground. This is true global scalability. Meeting demand in Europe, flooding the Chinese market, and saturating North America simultaneously becomes mathematically feasible when your production clock runs 7 seconds instead of 60. The competitive gap isn't just wide, it's unbridgeable without complete manufacturing reinvention. Zero delays, zero labor choke points, near zero material waste. That's the manufacturing holy grail every industrial engineer has chased since Henry Ford's first assembly line. Tesla didn't just find it, they're weaponizing it. This isn't about making cars faster. It's about rewriting what's physically possible in mass production, and the shockwaves are going to flatten every assumption about industrial capacity across sectors far beyond automotive. So if you could eliminate every bottleneck in your own work or business, the way Tesla just did with car manufacturing, what would change? Please drop fast in the comments if you're seeing why this matters beyond just EVs. But speed alone doesn't win. The real revolution is happening in how Tesla engineered efficiency itself at every microscopic level of the manufacturing chain. And that's where things get truly disruptive. 2. How is Tesla revolutionizing manufacturing efficiency like never before? So what exactly makes this new GigaPress so efficient? Is it just a bigger, faster piece of equipment? Or has Tesla rebuilt the entire concept of car manufacturing from the ground up? The truth is far more disruptive than just speed. Tesla is using manufacturing logic that flips decades of traditional thinking, replacing slow, multi-step assembly with a system that behaves more like a streamlined industrial engine than a conventional factory line. Traditional manufacturing philosophy says you build complexity through addition. Stamp parts, weld them, 
bolt them, inspect them, repeat. Tesla flipped that equation. Single part casting collapses what used to be 70 separate components, including the rear underbody sections, side rails, and front frame structures, all into one unified aluminum pour. Think about what that eliminates. No welding jigs, no fastener inventory, no alignment tolerances compounding across dozens of connection points. Material costs drop 25% because you're not buying, transporting, and storing 70 different SKUs. Labor costs crater by 30% because there's nothing to assemble. Legacy automakers are trapped in labor-intensive choreography where human workers still guide parts into position, operate welding guns, and verify fit and finish. Tesla's system cuts humans out of the repetitive execution entirely. Automation here isn't just about speed, it's about eliminating the variance that human fatigue, distraction, and error introduce into every single unit. Consistency becomes mathematical rather than aspirational. Defect rates plummet because the process doesn't drift. Recalls and rework that cost manufacturers billions annually nearly vanish because there's no accumulated tolerance stack up from 70 separate parts trying to play nice together. The robotics layer is where this gets genuinely frightening for competitors. Advanced AI-driven systems don't just move material, they're making micro-adjustments in real time based on sensor feedback during every press cycle. Pressure distribution across the die, metal temperature variance, and cooling rates, all dynamically optimized. Traditional presses run blind, following pre-programmed sequences and hoping the variables stay in range. Tesla's robots see, calculate, and adapt thousands of times per cycle. Energy consumption drops because nothing is wasted on correcting mistakes or compensating for drift. Quality control happens during production, not after, which means problems get caught in milliseconds instead of being discovered on dealer lots months later. Tesla isn't iterating on car manufacturing. They're authoring an entirely new industrial language where the machinery, the materials, the automation and the quality systems form a single integrated organism. This is manufacturing evolution compressed into a single decade, and it's rewriting the economics of what it costs to build anything at scale. The real question isn't whether this works. The press is running, the cars are rolling. The question is, what happens when this level of efficiency becomes the baseline expectation across manufacturing? and whether anyone else can catch up before Tesla locks in a decade-long head start. 3. How strategically does the new Gigapress set the new future of manufacturing? Tesla understands that high production speed means nothing if quality, consistency, and sustainability fall apart. That is why the new Gigapress is not just a larger die-casting machine. Material efficiency is the first major shift. Legacy factories still cut, weld and assemble dozens of separate metal pieces before a chassis even begins to take shape. That process generates waste at every stage. Tesla does the opposite. By molding multiple sections together in one shot, the Gigapress uses aluminum alloys with almost no unnecessary material loss. Even better, up to 90% of the excess material is immediately recycled and reused inside the same facility. Nothing leaves the loop. This is how Tesla lowers the carbon footprint of each vehicle while reducing dependence on raw materials that slow down production. Energy efficiency is the next pillar. The Giga Press runs on high-voltage electricity sourced primarily from renewable energy. This aligns with Tesla's long-term mission, but it also delivers a real business advantage. Traditional manufacturers still rely heavily on fossil fuel power. Their factories burn energy at a much higher cost per vehicle. Tesla's process gets faster, cleaner, and cheaper at the same time, which is something the old manufacturing model was never designed to achieve. This new level of efficiency is also what allows the Model 2 to stay within an affordable price range. Tesla has placed multiple Giga Press units in Texas, Berlin, and Shanghai, each one prepared to produce millions of Model 2 units every year. The goal is clear. Build a mass-market electric vehicle without cutting corners, without lowering safety, 
And without raising the price beyond the reach of middle-class families and retirees who need reliability more than luxury. As Tesla expands globally, the Gigapress removes several major supply chain bottlenecks that competitors still struggle with. Ford, GM, and others remain stuck with labor-heavy practices and slower assembly lines. Their factories were built for a different century. Tesla's system does not wait. If the Gigapress maintains this level of output, Tesla's production curve will continue rising while older automakers fall behind. They will be forced to either adopt the same approach or lose the electric vehicle market entirely. And this leads to the biggest shift. The Gigapress is not just a new machine. It is a blueprint for the future of manufacturing. One process, one material loop, one unified system that cuts waste, reduces energy consumption, accelerates output, and produces vehicles designed for everyday Americans who need affordability above all else. If Tesla can maintain this momentum, it will not just win the electric vehicle race. It will redefine how the global automotive industry operates. To lock in the audience emotionally, we need a moment of reflection. This technology does not just build cars, it builds access. It builds independence for seniors. It builds security for families who want a reliable, low-maintenance vehicle without breaking their budget. If Tesla can deliver this at scale, the impact will reach far beyond the factory floor. Now, which impact do you think will matter most to real buyers? If you believe material efficiency will make the biggest difference, then comment A. If energy savings are the real breakthrough, then comment B. And if mass-market electric vehicle production is the key to affordability, let's comment C. Tesla is building EVs in the way America builds the future. Cleaner, faster, simpler, and with real benefits for everyday families. If this technology keeps scaling, the cost of owning an electric vehicle will drop, maintenance will drop, and the gap between Tesla and every legacy automaker will only get wider. Which part of Tesla's new manufacturing system impressed you the most? Comment below and tell me what you think. And if you want the clearest, most honest breakdowns without the hype, make sure you subscribe right now. Big updates are coming and I know you do not want to miss what happens next.